All right. Uh, quickly, I want to do um, show and answer key for today's um, cool down. So cool down, a quadrat is this a quadratic function? Here's a pattern of squares. So looking at the pattern of squares, I actually see this in two parts. I see it as like this part here is growing. This is not the only way one could see it. This is just how my brain works. And then this part is growing also. Okay, so when I look at this, I see this as that's one squared, then that's two squared, that's three squared because it's a three by three, that's a two by two, that's a one by one. Um, so if I were to expand this to any step number, I would have an ever increasing square part that is n by n, which is n squared. Um, so that's part of it. And then the other part, this is one, this is two, this is three. So whatever the, whatever the step number is, that's how many are on this little extra piece down here. So there's n, that's n long, one tall, so it's n um, pieces. So to write an equation to represent the relationship, my equation would be n squared plus n. Oh, that's an expression. Make it an equation. Y equals n squared plus n. And the n squared is um, the blue part. So if you look, I color coded it blue. Um, and this part is the yellow and orange part. Um, okay. So is the relationship between the step number and the number of squares or quadratic func function? Explain how you know. The answer to that is a resounding yes. And I know this because there's an n squared term. Um, and I also know this because if I were to graph this on a graph, um, I would get a parabola. Um, so I'm gonna try to switch screens right now and show you the Desmos um, showing that it's a parabola. Um, if something goes wrong and it doesn't work, um, I'll make another video showing you that it's a parabola. But here we go, wish me luck. Uh, Desmos graphing calculator. Okay, it looks like it's still recording. Um, so yeah, so I typed in here, I typed in the function x squared plus x. Um, Desmos gets a little weird if you, um, you can't use n's, you have to use x's because the input it wants is x, not n. Um, like there's a way to do n, but it's way too complicated, so just use x. Um, yeah, but you can see this is definitely a parabola. If I turn off the grid, you can see that really clearly. Um, that any any equation that makes a parabola on a graph is a quadratic equation um, and it's going to be a, a quadratic equation like it's going to make a parabola on the graph if you have an x squared term um, so i hope that is helpful um, and i will see you soon have a good day